big big Florida trip coming up. Uh, a lot of a lot of changes from last year. Talk about um, starting with the the camps this summer and how how those uh, went along. Well, our uh, our preseason camp is. Uh, has gone pretty well. We've got a lot of new faces on the floor, uh, and even some of our upperclassmen uh, have been uh, waiting for their opportunity to, to step into the starting lineup and show what they can do. So we've got a lot of young uh, young faces, but some old kids that just uh, have, have been waiting their turn. Uh, so we've been kind of finding ourselves offensively, uh, figuring out what kind of team we're going to be, put a lot of good work in through the preseason camp. Uh, I think we're going to Upcoming tournaments are going to be a good test for us. So we'll see uh, how we do offensively is going to be our main thing, finding uh, the offense that we lost, having graduated a lot of a lot of very strong hitters. Yeah, talk about your your team um, specifically, generally. There's, I know there's a lot to talk about. you got some, some older girls, some experienced girls, um, but you got a, a really solid core of underclassmen as well. well we do. We've got a, a real interesting mix. Uh, we return two or three starters from last year, uh, mainly uh, Sam Brialt, our setter, uh, senior, has been starting for it's her third year now. Uh, we expect her really to be the, the backbone of, of the team, of the offense, uh, things that are going on on the floor in the setter role. If you're going to have one experienced kid, that's probably the place you want to put them, uh, making the decisions for you. So hopefully she's holding things together. We've got uh, Laurel Matson. Uh, holding down our serve receive, getting her opportunity as uh, the, the new libero. She's got a lot of experience, uh, having played uh, almost since her freshman year, just in different roles. This is her opportunity to step into that main passing role and defensive role and see what she can do with it. And after that, uh, we've got a, a sophomore that started last year for us as a freshman, Kelsey Furla. Uh, so she's got a little bit of outside experience, um, but it goes from being a support role into being kind of in the limelight, being one of our main hitters carrying a lot more load, uh, so we'll see how she handles that. She's doing real well in preseason um, in our, uh, our practices so far, but we'll see how she handles it when other teams realize that she's the main focus of our offense and has to step up to that challenge. And after that, uh, it, gets, it gets a little new, gets uh, uh, a little less experienced on the floor, so some kids with some playing time last year or in years past, but not a lot of experience on the floor. Um, and that can be good and bad. A lot of energy, a lot of excitement about the opportunity now to contribute uh, with some young kids. We've got a couple of um, freshmen that are challenging. Uh, and then we've got some, some older kids that have just been waiting their turn. So it's a lot of energy, a lot of excitement to, to see what we can be. Uh, a little different look to our team now. We play a little different style. So it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it works. Yeah, talk about uh, things you're working on in practice. Um, you know, what things are going well and then what are some uh, things that you need to improve on? Well, our team play is going very well. Uh, we we work hard together. We have a lot of energy. We uh, reorganize well when things get ugly. Sometimes teams uh, tend to keep it ugly, and things just get out of whack. Uh, we have an, a, a good knack for finding our way back into system, uh, getting ourselves reorganized, uh, getting an attack out of plays that kind of fell apart. Uh, our defense is going to have to step up from last year because of uh, – Working to find a little more offense, uh, it means the ball is going to stay alive a lot longer. So we've got to be able to keep it alive and, and keep getting attack opportunities. So we're working on that, uh, working on trying to find our offense, but also extending rallies and, and winning those long rallies, uh, which means a, a different kind of approach. You've got to have the, the conditioning to last in the long rallies. You've got to be able to reorganize and, and get some offense when you get out of system. And we've got some good pieces for that. We showed that in the spring. Uh, we've got to keep working on it. If we're going to win with that style, then you really have to train with that style. So that's been our focus, uh, trying to find the offense, and then when we don't have the offense, uh, how are we going to handle it? How are we going to try to keep the ball alive and, and keep sending it back over? You and the girls leave uh, in a matter of hours here to uh, go down to Florida, play in West Palm, West Palm Beach at the uh, Hyatt Sunshine Classic. Um, talk about the trip. Um, Maybe maybe some of the opponents you guys are facing. Uh, tell us about the trip. Yeah, this tournament uh, turned into a little tougher than than we had uh, anticipated. A little tougher than than what we were looking for uh, when we committed to it. Uh, end up playing a couple of uh, good regional matches. Playing Lewis right off the bat. Always a very tough team from the GLVC. 
So we're, we're interested to see how we can match up with them. Uh, we get to play Southern Indiana next. Uh, we got to see them last year in the crossover, and they were pretty tough. Um, so those two regional matches are uh, potentially important for both sides. Uh, it's, it's awfully early in the season for us being so young to play important matches like that, but it's the luck of the draw. Um, then after that, a couple of teams that we don't know a lot about. Uh, one of them is ex extremely strong, at least in the preseason poll. Washburn is nationally ranked as well as Lewis is. Um, so they're going to be a, a tough challenge for us, be a good test for us. And after that, Northwest Missouri that uh, we don't know a lot about. Um, so it's a, it's a good cross-section of, of quality opponents. Um, test ourselves against some regional competition as well as some nationally ranked uh, and some national contenders, I think, in Washburn. Um, and we'll just see how we do. It'll be a good test across the board. Thank you, Coach, and good luck on the trip. Thank you.